Hello everyone, this is Suprita from Informatica and today I'll be giving you a short overview of Metadata Manager command line programs. So apart from giving you an introduction on Metadata Manager command line programs, I'll be talking about different command lines which can be used for Metadata Manager. So for example, I'll be talking about MMCMD command, I'll be talking about backups command line, RMU, RCFMU, and in the end, I'll also give you a demo. So starting with metadata manager command line programs, they are basically simple command line programs that can be used to perform the following operations. You can use it to load and manage resource, backup and restore your repository. You can also use it to migrate resources and resource configuration files across different metadata manager versions and you can use backup command line mmcmd rmu and rcfmu command lines for this and these are basically similar to shell script command and can be run from any machine where your informatica is installed so starting with backup command line it is basically used to restore and backup your metadata manager warehouse and this is particularly useful in many ways you can prevent data loss in case there is any software or hardware failure and also if you want to migrate to a different database or metadata manager it would be a very good option to use your restore and backup options it is also it it is basically if you use a backup option it will back up all your tables in the metadata manager repository including your metadata manager warehouse profiling information models users and groups and all information user related information such as shortcuts and preferences the other useful program line utility is rmu which is basically to used it can be used to migrate 910 resources to a version 951 resources so for example if you want to migrate a resource which is currently in 910 into a different resource into a different repository but using backup and and restore will not be helpful because backup and restore can be done only for similar versions so basically you can use rmu for migrating resources of which are of a smaller version say 910 to 951 resources you can also use rmu to migrate deprecated resources so if you actually apply a hotfix or upgrade your resources from a smaller version to a higher version then there are some of the resources which get deprecated so handling them using rmu would be a very good option with RMU, you can migrate one resource or you can also migrate all resources in a repository. And when you migrate a resource, RMU at first creates a new resource configuration file and then it creates a new resource from the config resource configuration file. And basically it takes XML file as, as your configuration file. The next is RCFMU. It is again used to, uh, res to migrate a 910 resource configuration file to a 951 configuration file. And, and the new configuration resource configuration file that you create using RCFMU, it, it gets created in the directory from where you run it, or you can also specify the directory where you want the new resource configuration file to be created and it does not replace the original resource configuration files. And after you migrate a resource configuration file, you can upload it to a 951 repository. The other thing is MMCMD. So this command, you can use it to load and manage resources and import and export models, custom resources, business glossaries. It can create and delete metadata manager repository content as well as restore power center repository content. So you can use basically, you can use MMCMD in two modes. One of the mode is you can use command line mode and you start and exit MMCMD each time you issue a command. So you can write scripts with the command line syntax. Each command you write in command line mode, it must include connection information to the metadata manager. The other thing is using it in the interactive mode. 
so basically you establish and maintain an active connection to the metadata manager service and issue a series of commands so to start interactive mode you just need to enter mmcmd at the command line and to exit interactive mode use exit commands so let's start with demo uh, for demo i'll be just giving you two, two three simple commands that you can use using mmcmd so here if you see i have a metadata manager service which is up and running in the host hickory and the port at port 10672 so instead of using the browser i'll be directly doing some manipulations inside the mmcmd so using putty i'm just accessing my server where my metadata manager server is installed i'll to the infa home location that is I'll, i've just gone to the location where my informatica is installed and going to services metadata manager service utilities folder if i list out the folders the content which is currently present you'll find that m backup util utility is present mmcmd utility is present as well as rcfmu utility is present so i'll just go to the mmcmd utility to this folder and so if you see there is an mmcmd.sh program which is there so i'll just run it and then i'll be prompted prompt, prompted to an mmcmd folder I'll be prompted to enter MMCMD commands. So for example, I want to search for a particular object which is present in my metadata manager so metadata manager repository. So for example, if I want to do a search on a particular object, say account, so I'll do a search. Now entering search, you'll see the options of, you need to enter the URL of your metadata manager service as well as the user password and the argument in argument it's nothing but the term that you want to search so let's trying it you'll see and I've just entered the command so my argument is account so you'll see that it has listed out all the terms which are present and so the other thing that you want to do if you want to check out quickly what is the version of your metadata manager service right now so doing a version will give you that it's in a 951hf2 version the other quick way a quick example i can give you is of status if you want to check whether a particular resource has been loaded or if if the loading is if the indexing is successful or not so you can use the term status so you can see the usage of status again you have to enter the url username password as well as our resource so the resource name should go instead in to check the status so i have a particular resource for which i can check the status let's see what happens so I just entered the status. I want to know the status of mapping definition. So you see that the load has been successful, indexing is successful for it, and linking is successful for it. If you want to quit from the command, you just need to enter quit and you'll you'll just you'll go outside of the MMCMD. So so using MMCMD it's it's a fun thing to do things and automate your processes. The best uh, guide for you would be to look at the metadata manager guide, admin guide. It has loads of information on it. You can also search for KB knowledge base videos on our site. And if you have any feedback, do write to us at the links which is provided on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.